Bridge of Henri continues now on the shoreline. Boat owners are relieved now that the worst of the storm is behind us. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter A. Galel visited a Westbrook marina to follow up on how boaters are back in the water. As the sun came out in Westbrook this morning, one by one, boats were lifted back into the water. Just a few days ago, crews with the Atlantic outboard were scrambling to haul 130 boats out of the water. It's a huge challenge. Um, we had three different crews moving, getting trailers, getting hauling them out, blocking them, putting them on trailers and moving to different locations. So it was a, it was a huge undertaking to get that many boats out in that, that short amount of time. Atlantic outboard manager Evan Cusan says the best case scenario played out. The storm surge wasn't high, there weren't power outages at the marina, and no significant damage. We're extremely lucky that that was the case. It could have definitely been worse. Uh, we, we'd rather overprepare than uh, underprepare. You could see how fast that storm moved. Uh, to the east and if, you know, had it gone a little more to the west, it would have been pretty ugly for us. During storms like Henri, the wind and storm surge are typically the biggest concerns for the marina. We'll run through and check all the boats and poppets on blocks, make sure there wasn't any shifted or anything like that with the winds. And as summer winds down, folks are hoping there will be good boating weather for the rest of August and September. Seems like every weekend at least one of the days is, is rained out. So for boating, it's it's uh, not, not ideal. And I'm told the process of putting the roughly 130 boats back in the water Water will take about two to three days. In Westbrook, Aegalel, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.